Hi everybody, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries with some more vintage bag haul jewelry unbagging and some of my finds. And we'll start with some of my finds and then we'll do the bag. All right. I'm going to start with some earrings that I picked up. You know how I don't really wear too much clippies, but if they're pretty, I'm going to buy them. These no name, believe it or not, and their leaves with some really beautiful Aurora Borealis rhinestones. They have a wide back, so they might not be too painful. I've seen a lot of leaves, but I haven't seen them encrusted like that, so I love those. And these, I thought, were very interesting. At first, I thought they were um, like a damascene, but it looks like they're enamel, painted enamel. It looks like a daffodil and some other flowers. I love enamel. I love these. Beautiful. Then we have these, which I think are Coro, but I'll double check. No. Listener. Listener. And they are screw backs with some really pretty amber color or borealis. Look at that. So pretty. I love those. And these, because I love this kind of like lucite kind of hoopy thing. I don't think they had a name on them. I didn't test them for Bakelite. I mean, it could be totally possible, so I will have to test that. But they look really cool on, and they're not painful. I like those a lot. Then we have this massive brooch pin. It's got this weaved action going on here, and this big saber type thing and I guess that's I don't know if it's Loch Ness Monster no dragon and the winged lion or tiger or something like that and a crest here crest not using good words today <laughs> but I thought it was pretty impressive right you don't see that every day Absolutely. Now, what else we have? Something kind of art deco-y. I like this a lot. Not sure of the age of it. It is a little older. It's got the, the pins a little longer. So, I mean, when you think of art deco, this is what I think of. Beautiful. And I couldn't resist this bird. It's it seems to be like a carved resin and it's older it's got uh, an older pin and I think I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's a kookaburra kookaburra yeah, from Australia I think Somebody may disagree and know better than me. And that's totally, totally possible. So, but that's what my first thought with the long bill like that and the kind of this going on here. So I liked him or her. And this is a Damascene, very pretty bar pin, a little bent up. You gotta straighten that out, but really pretty. Classic with the bird. Then we have this pin, which has no name. I really loved the um, turquoise colored rhinestones in it. I think it's perfect like that. I don't know if they're supposed to be clustered together. That looks good. I really love that too. I have more, let's open a bag. 
this bunny bit. All right, what do we got here? Netherland. Little pill box from Netherlands. This is a pretty green stone, but the rest of it's kind of that, you know, not attractive, very basic, rough metal. Forgot the name of it. Let's see. Ooh, some blister pearls with an etching on it. Okay, I'm guessing that's a turtle. Looks like a turtle shell, right? I don't know if that's supposed to be his head. I don't know, that's weird. Cool. Yeah, it's blister pearl. And I'm gonna say that that's a turtle. And that's his head. That's my best guess. Interesting. This is a brooch with a missing faux pearl. And it is not, uh, oh, it's cap looks like Capri. I've had stuff by them before. They make some nice stuff. Oh, paint's missing off of this little earring. That's weird. Okay. I think that's a little better in the thinner part. Interesting. Hammered gold tone pendant. A bracelet with... Let's get a close-up. Oh, wait a minute. Alrighty, let's get in there. Oh, Sarah Coventry with a little Bayern. Hmm. Bayern. I have to look that up. Not sure what that is or what it is. Oh, one of these. A thimble made from abalone. Is that practical? I don't know. I'm not familiar with these. I mean, I'm familiar with what they are, of course, but I'm not familiar with like the different styles and materials. Maybe it's just like a little souvenir -y piece or something. Oh, this is nice. Hair clippy. I don't think it's signed anywhere. But that's nice. This is Figaro Milano. Milan, no. Hmm. Some kind of association. A holy childhood. Okay. Holy Virgin Mary, pray for us and the poor pagan children. Oh. A floor de lis type thing. Swank. Ooh, that's cool. What does that say? It says something, right? Swank. That's really neat. The starburst kind of moon glow thing. Too bad I don't have earrings like that. A pin with some balls and stuff. Couldn't describe it. Here's the other one. They're really worn. Same here. The paint's coming off. Stuff's dirty. Oh, 
I get a lot of these with the different stones. Too bad they're missing. But somebody could put some stones in there, right? I guess it was a big thing at one time because I do have quite a few with two different stones in it. I don't know if it's like a birth birthday thing or 50-50. Looks like it's gold filled. 50-50. I don't know if there was something attached to that or or if it'll come off. Oh, my nail. Not sure. Okay. This is just a really worn bracelet. Yeah. A little hairpin thing. No name. Oh. Oh, that's really worn. Oof. Cute little bent ring. Bent out of shape. I don't know why I'd never find two pearl earrings. Here's one. Really tangled with this little necklace. That's cute. Let's check for sterling. I don't see a thing. I lied. Let me see. Looks like it says sterling. So this cute little hearts, the sterling, this that I can't untangle, and then, oh, I see what it is. Okay. Premier Design. It's just tangled a little bit. Uh, and shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I just put this on because I was looking for another watch. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of comfortable. This is heavy. These are definitely glass or something. Um, not sure what would have been on the end, but it isn't anymore. But these are glass, and I guess these are plastic or bone. They don't look like ivory, so, but these are definitely glass or onyx. I'm going to go with glass. They seem very glassy to me. They're nice beads. Make a nice sound. And then we have oh, this pin I thought was really pretty. It's sort of like um like a glitter under glass like a foil can you see that like foil under some domed glass i thought it was different and i like it it's kind of like enamel but not and i do love enamel these I love, the thistle. I have another one with the same name on it. I think it's M-I-Z-R-A-H, -M maybe. I have a few, and I love them. And I think I have some kilt pins and other, because I believe this is Scottish, right? The thistle. Really pretty. I love the combination of the metal and glass or plastic, whatever that is. The amber color. I like it. Then we 
have this, which originally, like if I have something white to put behind it, a little piece of paper or something, I'm looking. Like originally I thought it was supposed to be like this. I'm trying to find something white. Like that, right? And I thought, oh, that's so pretty because it's, you know, concave and kind of, I guess, what would you say? Um, stained glass type. But if you turn it over like this, it's it's got a different look to it. Almost like uh, cloisonne. Um, it's, but it's got some curvature. But you know, both ways it looks pretty. Like that way, and of course that way, pretty. So I thought that was really nice. Then we have this Santa. That's all just rhinestones, and I like that. I love anything with a ton of rhinestones. I would like to find, um, who is that maker? They make some outrageous pins, a lot of rhinestones. Um, I think it's Lunch at the Ritz. Look at his big nose, the big red nose. These are really cool and they sell well for me. Um, this, I don't know if it's Jolly or Jowl, if you pronounce the E. That's a new name for me, but I thought it was a cool fish. I like fish. I'm a Pisces. I'm not sure what kind of fish it is, but I like it. This is domed glass. I think it's sterling. Yep, not sure what the mark is. It looks like a J something, um, 925. Doesn't seem like it's older, but it does. I like the way that it's done on the outside and it has the dried flowers. I'm trying to cover up the glare. It has the dome and the dried flowers. The blue is pretty. If it wasn't for the blue, it wouldn't have much to it because the flowers are kind of colorless, you know, just an off-white kind of tan, but I thought it was really pretty the way that it was done. Then we have this, which, oh, I loved. Ooh. I love that micro mosaic, and this one says Roma, the cross. I love that. I love tiny little details. Love. And then we have this one. Really nice. I love the brush gold, the amber colored stones, the swirl. Is it a calla lily maybe? It's not, um, not marked with anything. It's a little older. It's constructed really nicely. I think that's what they call it. It's very pretty, classy. Then we have this, can't resist the rhinestones. Rhinestone necklace. Beautifully done. Nothing missing there. That's the clasp. Not crazy about those hooks, but it's really pretty. Holding it on. It would look beautiful with anything or just a plain black dress, black shirt, white, green, anything. Love that. And I had to get this. I don't know why. It's so heavy. But it was so cute. The elephant, the mama, or the dad. With one elephant here and three dangly ones. And it's really heavy. 
it's not sterling um but i just thought it was cute and each elephant looks a little different and it's puffy this was really neat too i can't resist the rhinestones and i like a nice rhinestone flag unfortunately i could see now that some of the red and the bottom are missing but look it's waving it's a waving flag it's a necklace love it so that i really liked and picked up this which is i believe this is gold filled yes it is gold filled um this is bake light it's got some what they call i believe it's is it spinach spin cream spin something something spinachy it's got that not quite the butterscotch because i think that's a little bit lighter and black so looking forward to wearing that because I love big light. So, in love with that. And finally, my this auction winnings. I got some more big light. And They had some with different color groups and I tried to win the one that was kind of orange, but I did not, went too high. So I didn't test these yet, but I'm hoping that they are what they're supposed to be. Um, so I got these fake light bracelets, cool colors, I love green. And this is a gold-filled locket. I love the shape of it. Um, let me struggle to get it open. I think there's a little thing here. It's really nicely done. Um, there's nothing inside. I think it just has the thing with the gold-filled. Yes, 10 karat gold-filled. It has a little, like a silver piece of paper in here. It doesn't want to go back. Yeah little piece of foil, I guess, that was in here. Uh, I just think it's it's in beautiful condition. Um, sometimes they're dented up. This looks pretty good. And it's beautiful. They said Victorian, so I'm going to go with that. Really pretty. One of the my favorite lockets that I've found so far. Absolutely. But that is it for today. I'm going to hit up some places tomorrow. And then I'll come back and show you what I got. All right. Thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting. And all your help with things that I don't know. It's fantastic to be able to share this with you guys and I'm so glad you love it as much as I do and I will see you tomorrow have a great night thanks bye